Hello lovelies, Chrissy back with you today with another pretty girly layout, I'm going to call it. So I'm working really hard on not using any white cardstock. Um, I was challenged, like I said in my last video, I was challenged at the beginning of the month to use more pattern paper. Actually, I was challenged not to use any white cardstock. And it is a challenge. I'll tell you what, it is a challenge for me. But I'm loving what I'm creating by forcing myself to use more of my pattern paper. And it gets me past that fear of, this paper's too pretty, so I don't want to use it. And that is a big issue with beautiful papers like these in this collection. But, you know, you can't save everything for a rainy day because, or the perfect project, because you're not going to use it. You need to use your supplies, people. And uh, that's something I've been working on a bit. And like this rainbow paper, it was pretty and I ripped into it before realizing I was ripping into it. But that helped because otherwise I probably would have struggled. And yeah, I really am loving what I'm creating by um, branching into this pattern paper uh, challenge. So what I've done is I, you saw me going through the pattern paper trying to find what would work with this gorgeous picture of my niece. I'm finding this challenge as well as this collection have been great for pictures of my niece. So I don't scrap girly layouts often, but my niece is the girliest little girl you'll ever see. And like, look at this one. She's got these two cute little pigtails in this picture. It's just adorable. <coughs> And um, by using the pattern paper, it's it's really it's working really well with these photos. So I suppose that's helping me with this challenge as well. Now I've started with my background paper, my base paper, and then for some contrast, and also because the background in my photo was very dark, I brought in uh, the navy blue. And then to break that up some more, I brought well I flipped over what was left of this paper with the rainbows. So I've got something else, more contrast to break that up. So I've got the white on top of the dark and then I've got the rainbows that are drawing in the colour in my background. Now, because I couldn't help myself, I, I wanted to add a little bit of mixed media. But um, obviously I'm working on pattern paper. Now, this is something you can totally do. I was thinking of using the gunmetal grey first to tie in with the, the dark navy blue, but I wanted something lighter, something more subtle. I've kept my dark strip where it is and I didn't want to bring in a dark color in that background. I feel it just sort of hardens up the layout if that makes sense. It grunges it up a bit more and I felt that by using more of a, a subtle color it would suit the the girly flow of this layout if that makes sense. And as a happy accident um, the this is the rose gold and it was perfect. It blends in beautifully in this background. And it's just a, a little subtle hint of that, um, that metallic. And I really love how it turned out. I was very restrained. I was very, very good. And literally, I've just done this tiniest little bit around my photo coming out from underneath my um, contrasting layer. So I was very happy with how that turned out. And very proud of myself for being very restrained. Normally, when I do my mixed media... It's big, bold, bright, messy, and it's in your face. But I didn't want that for this layout. Um, when I when I do my mixed media layouts, like the reason I was challenged, I like to do them on um, white cardstock and then bring in my pattern paper as elements of that, not layering my mixed media on top of the pattern paper because the pattern paper is really beautiful. I, I wouldn't want to add anything to this because it's it's a gorgeous pattern paper and I wouldn't want to cover it up. So just adding that little bit in um, a very similar colour, it's just given it a very subtle, subtle feel. So now I'm just going to map my photo. So I've got all my pieces down and now I'm going to look at embellishing. And to start with, it's more noticeable looking at it now, but my contrasting layer is crooked. Looking at it now, it bugs me. It didn't bug me at the time when I did it, but... Here, it's, it's annoying me. But my original plan was to have sort of like um, a card, like a Project Life-sized card sitting there or an embellishment roughly the same size so you wouldn't notice all that. But, you know, it, I sort of drifted off from that, um, from that plan as most things do. When I start out with something in mind, it drifts very quickly. So now I'm just going through and pulling out some embellishments that would work. 
I thought I could use the heart. I thought I could either use it down the bottom there where I'm trying to cover up the fact that it's crooked or not even or up here on the left hand side near my photo in the end I don't actually end up using it so maybe I can use it on my next layout but I do decide to use the rainbow now I know I've got all these rainbows in the background but by layering this rainbow on top of the others it gives me that added dimension obviously because I have um popped it up on some foam but because it's the same um icon as what's in the background it's just adding that 3d image like i've brought one off the page and bumped it forward if that makes sense so i really like how that works adding that little um 3d uh element in <clears throat> now i was trying to figure out what to do up here because i did have this empty space in the photo and then you know why not go with some flowers and I'm keeping the colors very, very similar. So I'm not bringing in a contrasting color because I feel that that gray or navy or whatever color it is in the background is enough. So I go with um, the flowers that are very similar in color. So the, the peach and whatever color, you that light orange. So instead of bringing in some of the dark blue or the teal, I'm sticking with the, color, the same colors as my background. And the fact that I do have such a dark um, <coughs> negative space in the photo because she's sitting on a brown lounge, um, it, it works. The, the, the flowers pop on my photo, which, yeah, worked really well. So that's sort of drawing your eye into my photo as well as my little working well as an embellishment cluster over here. And then I'm adding some butterflies as well. So I'm just going to tape all this down. So I've used a mixture of wet glue and it... Um, 3d foam because i do love adding dimension to my clusters i haven't bumped up this photo i have kept this photo flat and have adhered it straight to my background because i knew i was going to tuck something when i worked with the flowers i decided to tuck them underneath and i feel that that gives it enough dimension by doing that sometimes i like to bump up my photo sometimes i don't and this was one of those times when i just didn't feel like um bumping it up for some reason i didn't want to add that extra dimension but I do like adding dimension to my, my embellishments. So I've bumped up one of the flowers and then I'm using the butterflies. I'm putting the butterflies around, again, using very similar tones, very similar colors. Now I decided to swap these two over because this darker shade of peach um, is more noticeable up there and the lighter one stands out because there's a bit of white down in this bottom corner. Not that it's a big deal, but it's just what I felt like doing. Going through the titles again for my title, I do love this little packet of titles. It's just, it makes it so easy to add a scrapbooking title. It really does. And so I'm just going through looking for something uh, that would work. I thought of um, My Sunshine, but I'd already used the My. So in the end, I go with Lovely You. And yeah, that works really well as my title. I decide to nestle it in that spot near my uh, flower cluster. Sometimes I struggle when I've got all this white space. Uh, I say white space, but it's obviously not white, but you know what I mean. When I've got all this negative space, um, sometimes I can struggle with where to put my, my title. Uh, when I do mixed media, I generally have a place in mind or you can clearly see where there's grounding and where there's not. But because this is just a pattern paper background, um, yeah, sometimes I can struggle. But I'm using um, the gap next to my flowers there sort of just to anchor it down. So this sort of becomes one little cluster, if that makes sense. I'm using my title um, – I'm clustering my title up with my flower so it's all – nothing's just floating – off on its own if, if you get what I mean so I hate floating I hate things when they're not grounded or when they're just floating in space that bugs me so I have um technically I've anchored it to my flowers <laughs> just adding the last little bits and pieces I got some of the hearts that also match in colors and just just to make my title feel like it's more of that uh, more a part of that little cluster and then um I love that these are included in the printables. I love little word phrases that you can add to your layouts. And these, uh, like I said, came in the printables and they're just so cute. So I've used these, adding it on top of my little uh, rainbow just for something a little bit extra. And then that's it for my layout. So I do hope you've enjoyed this page. I sure enjoyed it. And I will be back real soon with more.
Bye for now.